Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Dr Maureen Sear, the Director of Interfaith Scotland. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Next week is celebrated across Scotland as Scottish Interfaith Week. Next week is also the 10th anniversary of Scottish Interfaith Week, which began in 2004. It's a week that focuses on bringing people together from different faith traditions to celebrate the multi-faith society that is Scotland. But interfaith engagement is more than a one-week pony. Week in, week out in Scotland, there are people coming together from different religious backgrounds to build bonds of friendship, to tear down barriers of bigotry, and to work together to make Scotland the sort of country we can be proud of. In interfaith groups and faith communities, from Shetland to Skye, Dundee to Dumfries, and so many places in between, the story is one of engagement and dialogue. It is, in many ways, the untold story. Sadly, the told story forces us to listen daily to the heartbreaking news of wars, sectarian violence, extremism, hatred and prejudice. All of this is not new. Human beings have many millennia of such behaviour, whether it is politically motivated, ideologically motivated, or simply motivated by power and greed. The story is all too common. The violence is perpetrated by the religious and the non-religious. The 20th century is witness to that, as is the witness of those who died at the hands of Hitler, Pol Pot, Stalin and others. Despite the complex nature of religious and non-religious violence, the story being told is that the cause of the world's problems is religion. And with that story comes the consequence of spiritual disillusionment and many turning their backs on the centuries of religious guidance that comes from humanity's great spiritual and religious traditions. Baha'i, Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism, Islam, Sikhism and others. So I'm here today to say there is a different story to tell, a story of equality, friendship, sacrifice, engagement, joy and spiritual enrichment. It is the story of Scotland's great history of interfaith engagement and support. It's the story of ordinary people from every background sharing together the spiritual wisdom of their faith traditions and using that wisdom to do good in our country. In cities, towns, villages and islands across Scotland next week, thousands will be engaged in respectful interfaith dialogue and friendship building. And I urge you all to find out what's happening in your area and take part in the celebration of Scottish Interfaith Week 2014. Thank you. Thank you. We now move to topical questions. Question one, Jim Hume. Uh, thank you to ask the Scottish Government what it's...